Martin Chuck here coming to you from the Raven Golf Club in Phoenix, Arizona. You know, this segment is all about fairway bunkers. We're going to level up. You know, when you are right at that cusp of breaking 100, then leveling up to 90, and then finally getting the skills to break 80. So let's talk about a few basic things in a bunker. Fairway bunker specifically, not a greenside bunker. This is what you'll find if you hit it off the tee and you're in a fairway bunker. What do you do? Well, let's talk about some of the choices. When you're trying to break 100, you need to know a few things. You know, I have got an 8-iron here, and I could have grabbed any club in the bag to demonstrate this, but we've got a situation where we have a very, very, cons a very easy lip to get over when I'm shooting from the down the line camera, or if I was the face on camera, I'm in a situation, if I had a fairway bunker shot like this and I had 150 or 200 yards away, very, very tricky to get this advance this ball out of here with any distance at all. Reason being, so I've got an eight iron. Let me stand on the loft and explain this to you. If I stand on this loft, I'll do it this way so you see it better. An eight iron by design has about 38, 39 degrees of loft built on it. That dimension right there, 38, 39 degrees. And you can see if I hold this here, that looks as though that might make it over the lip. But that is a bit of a trick because that's not the loft. The golf ball comes off the face. The golf ball comes off the face almost half. So what you want to do is you want to understand that whatever loft your club is, imagine that the ball is going to launch about half of that loft. And if that will get over the lip, now you have a fighting chance if you have decent skill. So for those of you trying to break 100, oftentimes you get into a fairway bunker, you're far away from the green, and you go, well, gosh, I still need to hit one of these. Well, the problem with, say, a club that you have to take the head cover off is this has 19 degrees of loft on it. So imagine if it launches, it's going to launch approximately half. Let's just say it launches at 11 or 12. Okay, I know half of 19 is obviously nine and a half, but it's going to launch a little bit higher than half of its loft. Well, unless you're well back in that fairway bunker, you'll want to be mindful of that because that certainly wouldn't launch over this. In fact, my eight iron wouldn't launch over this. So you got to be careful. Always be conservative choosing a club to get out of a fairway bunker. Now, that's just a simple thing to get this lesson started. So let me get this hybrid out of here and let's talk about striking. So for those of you breaking 100, what I want you to consider when you get into these bunkers, if you get a decent lie, the rules don't allow you to touch the sand before you touch the golf ball. So you have to address the golf ball. You have to grip the club with the club. You can't set it in the sand. That's a no, no, that's a penalty. And you have to hover the golf club. So when you decide where you're going to aim it and you choose your club based on the lip, and the club that will launch above that lip, walk in and go ahead and hover that club. I actually love this because this is what I do when I hit off of grass. I never ground the golf club. And you'll see what I did with my feet. I shimmied in, I set my feet in here a little bit, and people always say, Martin, do you choke down on the club? And I don't, personally. I hold the club at the end. I like to feel its swinging weight the same. I don't choke up on it. I hover the golf club, whether about a half inch off the ground. Now for those of you that are just trying to break 100, the key in these bunker shots is to avoid all this migration away from the target while you're trying to generate some energy in your backswing because it's really hard to time all of that to get down, touch the ball, and brush the sand. So what I'd suggest you do, breaking 100, is fill your weight biased a bit more into your lead side. I'm not trying to pick these out of here. I'm letting the circle of my swing collect the golf ball. If I hit it solid, that's fine. I'm, I'm anticipating I'm hitting a good shot here. Let's make a strike. There's a nice little crisp strike out there. I was able to touch the ball and brush the sand. Again, I'm not trying to pick it out. So for those of you breaking 100, let's wiggle our feet a little bit. Let's bias our weight a little bit to the left. Let's feel like we don't migrate off the ball. Rotate staying centered. You will have much better chance to hit the golf ball than brush the sand. So next tip for leveling up, for breaking 90, some visual clues to really help you. Right here in front of this ball I just hit, I actually took a wee little divot of sand. One of my visual cheats, what I like to do when I'm hitting fairway bunker shots, once I take my grip, I organize myself, I give my feet a mild little shake to kind of check the firmness and go ahead and establish some stability on the sand. 
I let my eyes rest on the golf ball, but I let my periphery settle into where this divot's about to happen. So even though I'm looking at the, the top of the golf ball, I don't really look at the back of it, I just kind of look casually at the top of it, my periphery is very aware of where that club's about to pass through ahead of the golf ball. Let me hit a little shot for you. And that was another strike ball first. So my little cheat, for those of you trying to break 90, I want you to, while you are working on your fairway bunker play, let your eyes rest on the golf ball, but your periphery is an amazing thing. You've got about 170 degrees of it. You can look at something and let your attention also be aware of where the club is in fact going to bottom out. The golf ball is not the bottom. The golf ball is on the journey to the bottom, and that's a really big deal. So let's be mindful of that. Touch the ball. You know the club's going to brush the sand a little bit to the left of the ball. Let your periphery pay attention to that. Swing your club through that area. You are going to do great. Now, exercises for you trying to develop your skills to break 80. Big, big step. I've got an aim stick. I used it for some directional awareness for breaking 100, breaking 90. How about this? breaking 80, let's use it as a drill. In fact, it's my favorite drill. It helps me break 70 from time to time. I want it to help you break 80. All we're going to do is take an aim stick and put a groove in the sand. My absolute favorite drill, if you've been following me for years, you've seen this a few times, there's a groove, should be easy to see on camera. Take the aim stick, get rid of it, and then we're gonna take five golf balls. I'm not gonna hit all five for you for the purposes of time for this video, but what I want you to do is go ahead and take the rear end of the golf ball and hover it just above the valley of the sand. So if I, from my play position, when I look down, I see the rear of the ball and looking into the valley. Now I've got a very precise spot that I'm going to let my swing begin to bottom out into. I know the bottom of my swing is to the left side, my target side of the golf ball for the right-hand golfer. So as I get my good hands on there, again, remember, when we are in a bunker, the rules don't allow you to ground the club. So you're gonna have to put your waggles in, create your softness in your hands, and you can settle your feet in. Now the goal here, when you get started, I want three good ones out of five. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit so you, I can get to the last ball, we'll see how we do. And finally, the fifth ball. I've managed to hit four decent shots, not perfect, but they were ball first, heading toward my target, probably pretty good. And the keys to this, once you get settled in here, build your radius, get your good hands and arms on there, put a waggle in for comfort. We know that the bottom of our swing is gonna begin at the line, the impression in the sand. We're trying to get three or four out of five good ones here. Let's see if I can finish on a good note here. Clubs hovered. Waggles from the wrist, let's get the ball first. And that was the best of a lot of them. So, learning how to level up in the bunkers, really critical. Understand how the club can start the golf ball. About half of the loft to be conservative, that's how you're gonna judge whether or not you can get out of the lip. Also understand that you can use your periphery as a weapon. Just because I'm looking at the camera doesn't mean I can't be aware of what's to my left and to my right. And then finally, breaking 80, this is a great drill. Check out Golf Pass, we got some great stuff on there. All the content providers, the coaches, we care about your game. And also, check out my Breaking 90 series. I don't care what level of golfer you are. There's some great nuggets in there. You'll love it. You'll have a lot of fun watching it. I guarantee you'll get better at golf. Swing from home seven days a week with personalized lessons just for you and your favorite shows on the Golf Pass app or golfpass.com. And don't miss more daily lessons on the Golf Pass Instagram and Facebook pages. Swing from home with Golf Pass.